In today's After Effects video, we're going to create shape transitions. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got a cool little video today. We're gonna to be working on three types of shape transitions from circle transitions to rectangles to repeated shape transitions. So there's are three concepts we'll be talking about in this video. And as a quick side note, we posted a short film right here on the channel yesterday called Hope. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check that out. I really appreciate your feedback and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So go ahead and check that out. The links in the video description or just go to our channel page. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in this video. So for our first shape transition, we're gonna be creating a circle transition okay and next up on our list is creating the circles so we're gonna come over here grab our tools and we're gonna grab the ellipse tool and all we're gonna do here is zoom out and we're gonna hold down shift on our keyboard and we'll draw out a circle like this and then we'll come here to the line tab and we can center this up and if you don't see the line tab go to window align all right and then from here we're gonna open up ellipse one go to ellipse path one and we're going to add a keyframe for size and we're gonna set it down to zero and we're gonna move forward by maybe two seconds and then we're gonna set the size all the way up to fill the entire composition like this. And we can make these easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And now we'll close this layer up and then we'll go up to edit, duplicate. And we'll offset this new layer by a second. And we'll come here to the track mat, we'll toggle switch the modes and then the track mat's right here. But the bottom layer, we'll go to open this up, go to alpha inverted map. And we want to start the opening of the circle right when the full circle's on like this. So we'll just move that layer over. And then we can move our keyframes over to be right in the middle of the cut. Perfect. And now we have our circle transition that opens up from the center. And next up on our list is using rectangles as nice line transitions. So here we are inside of After Effects and we're working on the rectangle transition. So we'll come here, grab the rectangle tool. And all we'll do is draw out a rectangle the size of our composition. And this is very easy to do, so we can open rectangle one, go to transform rectangle one, add a keyframe for position, and let's say we want to move this keyframe into the middle of you know our transition. So say we want this transition to be about a second. So we'll send this keyframe to 13 frames. Then we'll bring the Y position up to above the composition like this. And then we'll go to one second and we'll bring the Y position down like this. So now we have this rectangle doing this. What we do here is select all of our keyframes and make them easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And by adding that middle keyframe, it'll help variate speed just by a little bit. And then when you're ready, you can bring in the out point of this layer. And we want to match this key, this middle keyframe up with the cut. So just like this. So you can see here that the middle keyframe is also a marker to know when we need to set our next clip. And now we have our rectangle transition. And you see how things nice and lined up. The middle keyframe is in that cut and we're able to reveal on our next clip and that looks great. And of course, you can change the color here at the top of fill. So we want blue or whatever color that works best for you, you can easily do that. And if you want, you can of course turn on motion blur and turn it on at the top. And lastly, we're gonna talk about repeated transitions where you take shapes, repeat them, and you're able to create a very nice detailed shape transition. Okay, so this last one is gonna be a nice unique transition, a little bit more than basic shapes. So here, what we're gonna do is just grab, say the pen tool, so what we'll do is we'll add a point down here and we'll hold down shift on our keyboard and we'll add a straight point up like this. Then we'll click on the word fill. We'll set it to none, click okay. Click on stroke here at the top, set it to solid color and click okay. And we can set it to whatever color we want. And the biggest thing here is we want to increase the stroke width to about 200 or so. So now we kind of have like this rectangle in here like this. Then we'll go in here to the shape layer one. We'll go to add and we're going to add a trim paths. Come here to the beginning of the timeline, open up trim pass one, and we'll set the end to 0%. Then we'll add a keyframe for end, and we'll move forward, you know, by half a second to a second, and we'll set it to 100%. And then at the last end keyframe, we'll add a keyframe for start, and we'll move forward to the little over a second, and we'll set it to 100%. So now you'll have this rectangle that does this, and if you want to have it on there for just a few, you know, a few frames, you can move over the start keyframes by a little bit, and of course make them all easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9. And what we'll do from here is hit P on keyboard for position for the shape layer, and we'll move this shape layer all the way to the edge of, you know, the composition. Then what we'll do here is we'll duplicate this layer, and we will bring the position up, and we'll move it over to connect to the other rectangle, and we can offset it by like a frame or so. So we have something like that, and then once again we'll duplicate this, bring it over by a frame, and we can just position this over, and we're gonna want to do this for all, all the way across. So now I have this repeated rectangle shape going across like this. 
and that looks pretty cool. And what we can do even further here is we can grab all of our layers and we can even duplicate them, bring them to the top and change the color of this. Maybe we'll do like a, a blue or so. And we can offset these just by a few frames. And now you'll have a duplicated version of this and that looks pretty cool. When it's all said and done, you might want to select everything, go to layer pre-compose and call it transition. And then all we have to do is find the sweep spots where the entire transition is covering up the entire you know, screen. So right there is good. And here's what we have with our nice repeated transition. And it looks pretty cool. Now, of course, if you want to have access to nearly a 1000 motion graphic elements, go ahead and check our links in the video description. This is a extension right here on the right for After Effects called Toko. And simply what it has, for example, it has a pack of transitions and flat transitions that we created in this video. And what we can do if we're doing flat transitions, for example, we can find a transition that we like here. We can click it and it'll automatically apply whatever element to your timeline at the spot of your playhead. So you can easily add transitions. And out of these 750 elements, you have, you know, typography templates that you can click and add to any composition backgrounds, you know, plenty of title animations in here. And you even have logo reveals, which makes this the ultimate extension for After Effects, which is great for any video project or motion graphics project that you can open up into any After Effects project file. So, so go ahead and check this out if you're interested in producing high quality results and getting work done extremely fast. And the link's in the video description. So there's our video on three types of shape transitions. You should be able to apply these concepts to other shapes, not just the three that we talked about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every week right here on the channel. So hit that subscribe button. Also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.